Uh, Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We are on the ground at Spark Summit 2015 in downtown San Francisco. There's a lot of buzz here. Spark is the hottest thing in big data since, I don't know, sliced bread Hadoop, but it's, it's a lot of energy, a lot of companies here, a lot of the, the folks that we see at Hadoop Summit and a lot of other big data shows that we cover. So we're excited to stop by, kind of get a feel for what's going on. And we're joined next by Wayne Like, who runs financial services at Pixada. Welcome. Hi, how you doing? Awesome. So, uh, Big Data SV 2013, actually, uh, Prakash launched Pexeta on theCUBE, one, uh, one of our more favorite interviews, he jumped on, launched a company. So, give us an update. How's Paxada doing? How big are you guys? Doing? What's going on? So Paxada's going great. Um, as you can tell, the, the market is exploding. Uh, Self-service data prep is really just, it, it is so necessary at this point with the amount of data that we're creating. Uh, it's been just going fantastic. So drill down a little bit into that because everybody talks about, you know, kind of moving the data analysis from the data scientists to, you know, analysts and, and, and a bigger population and then this whole interactive uh, way to, to move with sure. the data, dig in, change your high hypothesis, go a different direction, but the data prep is the piece that a lot of people don't talk about. You're talking self-service data prep. Why is that important and what are you guys doing to help? Well, I mean, uh, data prep is actually the hardest part of the whole analysis, if you will. Yeah, what a convenient that most people leave that part out. That's right. About 80% <laughs> of the work goes into actually preparing the data, and then if you actually have an issue or a mistake, you've got to go back and you've got to get everyone re-engaged to, to fix the data. Uh, now it's actually much easier to go back and append your data, make it a lot more simpler and easier to use. So so being able to go back and include more data into your data set for analysis makes it much more compelling and, and, and a reason to, to work with the Paxada. Okay, so 2013, we didn't hear a lot about Spark. I think the Spark was around a little bit. Now Spark is the hottest thing going. What does Spark mean for uh, for Paxada? Why are you guys here? Well, because we've uh, completely uh, architected our solution built on Spark uh, to make it interactive, to make it more amenable to the enterprise. So everyone from every different uh, constituent can actually take advantage of data prep without having to do any coding or scripting. So, you, so Spark's under the cover. So everybody using Paxada is using Spark whether they know it or not? That's true. Excellent. That's true. All right. And we've, uh, we've masked that complexity, making it very simple. No code, no scripting. Click to configure figure, drag and drop, very simple to use. Okay, awesome. So you've been at it for a while. I wonder if you can share any customer stories. What are some applications that people are using the application? What kind of things are they doing now they couldn't do before? Any fun success stories or interesting insights that come out of this type of uh, value prop? So a great question. Uh, you know, especially within the financial services market, uh, data quality is exceptionally important. You have a lot of regulators, the OCC, everyone wanting to understand how you brought this data together, what comprises it, uh, really makes it uh, very compelling when you can like, track every single event, every single uh, version of the of the truth, if you will, right. and be able to prove uh, the, the 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 contents of, of your data. Because because your financial services, so you've got a, a whole bunch of extra layers of security and, and other types of requirements. Dodd Frank, uh, all the different types of regulators that are out there wanting to know more and more about how these data sets came together and how you did your analysis. Right. That's true. So so why Paxata? Uh, why should they come look at you guys? What, do you, what are you offering to the marketplace that just wasn't out there before? Uh, built on a modern uh, platform, Spark, uh, being able to do things at a much faster pace when it comes to data prep, uh, enabling the business analyst and anyone that really needs to go in and prep that data at speed, at scale. Right, right. So. And then what, what are we going to be talking about a year from now? What are, what are you guys looking forward to? You've already been at it. You've got well, a kind of a jump on the, on the game. Now everybody's jumping in. What, uh, what can we look forward to over the next six months, 12 months? Um, well, um, increasing our customers from 50 to uh, well over 100 plus. Um, and then actually really uh, being, doing more things with the modern capabilities like machine learning, you know, uh, automated recommendations of the things that you should be combining in order to get better analysis. Right. So those types of things. Okay, so last word before we get the hook here. For people that aren't here in, uh, in downtown San Francisco, talk a little bit about the vibe of the show, uh, the energy of the show, and kind of what's happening here on the floor at the Hilton uh, on O'Farrell. Um, it's actually packed, uh, pretty amazing. It reminds me of uh, Hadoop World back in 2012 in the Hilton in New York City, where the buzz is there, it's alive. Uh, people are just really excited about taking advantage of these modern technologies. So. Pretty amazing to see. Excellent. Well, Mike, thanks for, uh, not Mike, did the same thing. Wayne, thanks for stopping by. You should have named him Mike, Mom. Um, <laughs> everybody calls him Mike. All right, Wayne Like from Paxada. Again, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate the time. I'm Jeff Frick. We're on the ground at Spark Summit 2015. You're watching theCUBE. Thanks for watching.